Yeah. Did what? Oh, no, I haven't. Yeah. Rudy Giuliani, yeah, I saw all that. Yeah, yeah, no, I was just muting because I'm smoking. Well, I'm streaming, and it records my voice, and then I have to go back and delete it. Yeah, yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, I did listen to it actually not too long ago, but like five, ten minutes ago. Yeah, I don't think I've heard of either of them. Lauren, we were just talking about you. Do you want the good news or the bad news? The bad news. No. Tell him the good news first. The good news is, you smashed Macros's barrier into a thousand pieces. The bad news is, he sent a contingent of his Black Tide warriors to stop you. Good. That means Macros is worried, as he should be. I'm ready to face Lunara. Good work on collecting the sigils. Yeah, that's pretty wild.
None of this matters if we don't find a way to break the rites of ascension. The spell is complicated. I'm making progress, but I need more time. Time is something I can't give you, Sanctum. Macros is growing in power even as we speak. I know. What are you talking about? Pay attention to the energy trails. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> mm, kinda. It's like a weird mixture of Demon Souls and Monster Hunter, and I don't know how to explain it. It is. It's interesting. It's fun. They are using these spirit tethers to reinforce the lunar gate. Then I must break them. Uh be three of them. I'll guide you. See the spirit tethers and like I just need to get a recharge here. Oh yeah. Shoulders, they're pretty cool looking. Wait, I just killed the. That means there should be a chest around here somewhere. Are she blows? And there it is. Stupid shield, recharge. There we go. It's like Destiny, Dark Souls, Monster Hunter. So, cause like, it's got like, the combat like Dark Souls, but it's also like Monster Hunter, and then the walking around the maps is kinda like Monster Hunter, and then you go on hunts for individual enemies. Yeah. Oh, right, right, yeah. 
And it's like Destiny because there's like a bunch of loot all over the place, and even the way the loot looks and the way that you equip it is very similar to the Destiny UI. It's just kind of a weird mix of all of them. Yeah, dude, it's really pretty. Almost a nice far away. I'll do the clay. Foghorn Leghorn. My name is my name is Mr. Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> Yeesh. One more tether somewhere. I don't dare. Don't star. Yeah, this level's very Monster Hunter-ish, for sure. Some of the other levels are more, like, mystical and, like, Godly, that was like the Earth Realm. This is the Water Realm. Under the sea. Under the sea. Oh no, I don't remember that. I haven't seen that movie enough to remember details like that. I've seen it a handful of times, but... <laughs> oh, shit. You just slept. Yeah. I don't know. I was thinking about that yesterday. I don't know what my favorite movie is. I have, like, favorite movies. Like, movies I find really interesting and that I think the acting was good. But it's weird because it's like... I don't have a favorite movie, you know? Like, you can't pick one movie, because like, sometimes I want to watch a comedy, you know? I guess it depends on genre. Like, one of my favorite movies that I really liked was The Imitation Game. I thought that movie was really good. But... How High? Yeah, that's a comedy, though. I do like How High. How High is... Yeah. Okay, one movie? Oh, okay. Um, I think that would be How High, then. Because that's the only movie... Oh, Sydney just mentioned that, but that's the only movie that I can rewatch, really. Or one of the few. Because I don't, I don't know why, but I can't rewatch movies. Like, if I've seen a movie, I can't rewatch it. Yeah, you just got those some movies where you're like, I could watch that over and over again, I don't mind it. Yeah, Ferris Bueller's Day Off is like that, that is true. Or it's like, there's just little things that I could watch. I like that as well. Um, but yeah, that's definitely how high for me, just, I don't know why I like that movie so much. Yeah. Like, buddy dramas. But yeah.
the characters, like his best friend and yeah, and that whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, you're right, that is. It did work really well together. Man, uh, so Sydney got me some coffee from um, from uh, Whole Foods, not Whole Foods, from Trader Joe's, and it's super good. It's, I mean, you know, they just have uh, coffee from all over, but it's from Rwanda, and it's like this raspberry tart kind of coffee, but it's not super fruity. It's weird, and so uh, she got me. Do you know what a Chemex pour over is? It's like it's a. It almost looks like a weird science experiment kind of thing but it's for pour over coffee you put a filter in the top it's made out of glass and it's got this cork thing around the middle of it and you pour coffee over it and it's just for making pour over coffee that's all but um and so i was using that to make some coffee and then getting a little bit better watching some videos about my french press because i make pretty shitty french press coffee so i was like okay let me get better at it but i finally figured it out and made some good shit and well, it was really watery. That was my problem, and I was watching some videos, and I, I don't know, little things that he was doing throughout it made it a lot better, made it easier. Like, I don't know, it was weird, but you have to like soak the grounds in a little bit of coffee before you soak them in all of the coffee, and so that was that was something I wasn't doing, but like little things like that. Yeah, I remember seeing videos on him. He was big on the internet for a while. I just knew that he just would run into battle naked. And he like was reformed, quote unquote, right? And he would walk around and tell people about it and would just like get off on telling people about it. All right, so I know it's a couple seconds behind, but I'll kind of show you around. Um, so you'll see I'm looking at some armor sets right now. All of these can be crafted if they're not already crafted and they have different bonuses for them, and we can wear them. So there's a bunch of them that I have. It reminds me of Warframe. It's a weird mix of all of these games. Man, it's... I want to, I'm showing a guy right now, Hinterclaw. He's like this wolf looking dude. I really want to make him. He looks cool. Yeah, yeah, it is. I haven't used this one. She's pretty cool with fire, but I don't want to take her to a water level, so. I got this guy, but he looks really cool, but he's just not as great right now, so. Actually, he's not bad. I just, I like to use him with a hammer and stuff, and this, so, if you look in the top right, you see it'll say plus 10% soul shatter buildup. So that allows enemies to explode and hurt other enemies in the area. So that's pretty good. It does good stuff. But the one that I have right now 
it does bleeding damage, so it starts to just eat away at their health. Like with, it has a 10% chance to inflict bleeding damage. And then when I do my special move, it summons these like, they're called sentinels, but they literally just sit there and shoot a ray at the people around them. So I kind of like those powers, whereas that other hot guy just shoots out like this AOE move. And um, now the Greyhawk, yeah. Because I thought he looked pretty cool as well. But really, they all look cool, honestly. I have knees on. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they do. But especially the character that I am right now. He has a very rhino look to him. Sanctum. All of Apirian owes you a debt. This serves the greater good. Your brother must be stopped. You've gathered enough sigils, and you've cleared your brother must be stopped. All right, I'm going to do something. I'll show you something kind of cool. It's called the Tower of Trial, so you can get some gear this way and just kind of level up and stuff. But uh, no, I don't want to change it. I am going to run to the restroom real quick, so I'll be back in a minute.
Did you see that Instagram video I sent you? <clears throat> oh, it's from the History Hyenas. There's these comedians out of New York that do a podcast about history and they just riff on it. It's pretty funny. Oh, this guy looks main. Giannis Papis and Chris DiStefano. Pretty fun. They rip just about a bunch of stuff, so they just like every week is a new topic about uh, history. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really funny. I wouldn't doubt if we've had very similar ones. <laughs> I'll show you some cool ones. I can do a cool ones with my armor. I gotta use this other sword. Oh shit! Fuck, I wasn't paying attention to my health. Um, the hammer, you can do some really cool combos. I don't know if I'll be able to do it on this boss just because I gotta really like dodge and counter. But. This is the weird thing. Look at the boss's health after I die. It's only halfway. 
so I don't have to start over. So that's always the weird thing I notice about the game is or that John and I actually saw in the gameplay at the beginning, yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, he cha uh, halfway he changed actually to have more of these balls and he's a little bit more aggressive. Oh fuck. In his phase, yeah. So he like he yeah, he uh, if it's like phase 2, he gets all this health back for phase 2, but then you still at least fight him from phase 2 instead of starting all the way over. Damn, I got to quit fucking around. There we go. That's better. Fuck, I was trying to run away. Fuck! Fuck! He's gonna kill me. Oh no. Okay. Damn. Dude, I have like no fucking health at all. Oh, I need one of those guys to drop some health. No, fuck, you got me. I was trying to change weapons and see if, like, I can do this slam weapon if I change weapons and it's all the way powered up. And I was going to hope that would stun him, but I should have known better. He's a boss. Playing his quest, he got a that quest VR for Christmas. I thought it was pretty cool. It's uh, the Oculus is the new consumer version of the VR. You don't have to have a computer or anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said he likes it. He said the graphics are not as great as like the wired version, but they're still pretty good and it's like there's some fun games he's been playing. He said he's playing one game, he's like, I feel like John Wick. <laughs> it's like some shooting game. Yeah, you can hook it up to a computer. Got a little bit more power. Yeah. Yeah, I think you gotta buy it or you can buy the version that comes with it, something like that. <clears throat>
Got him. Cleanest kill. Different. Tell me what's happening. The Ethereum is affecting me. Nothing fatal. You're sure about that? Arkan <laughs> relies on you. I'm not dead yet, Oren. So nothing to worry about. Oh, yeah. Got me a nice little new hammer. Damage. I am changing my gear, so I got some new drops. So I'm like updating my like I got a new hammer, um, so I was updating that and just. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I don't know whether to raise my critical hit chance. Soul Shatter. 